and welcome back to another video today back with another match preview this time it's blackburn rovers versus swansea city this saturday 3 p.m kickoff away at ewood park in the skywood in the skywood championship so uh yeah let's get straight into it then um it's going to be a tough game you know blackburn is sitting very high up in the table um i know we've come off the back of a 2-1 uh, win against Blackpool. It, it, it was three points at the end of the day, but it wasn't, you know, very convincing. It's probably the least convincing win I've seen us have all season. You know, they were down to ten men, and it took us an own goal for us to scrape past them late on. So, you know, it's not great considering they're they're bottom of the table. You know, we should be putting two, three past, well, three, four past them, especially in the first half. Um, but second half we kind of sat sat off. But um, I can't remember the last time we won two two on the bounce. So you know. This is what we need to do, and it's going to be a tough game. But I think we really need three points, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, what's your thoughts going into this game? Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting game. Uh, I've seen uh, Blackfin's recent form, and they have had quite a lot of draws. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if this game will be a draw as well. Um, going to Eward Park, you know, it's not easy to um, you know get wins there. Um, so it's gonna be a tricky game. You know, we were lucky to beat Blackpool in the end. Uh, you know, it took us an own goal to win the game. It's the team that are bottom of the league struggling for their life. So, um, yeah, it's not been, um, you know, good recent times for us. It was good to get the win, uh, well, yesterday. But, um, yeah, it hasn't been um, a good game at all. And um, hopefully we can at least get a point against Blackburn. It's a game we definitely need to win. Blackburn, they're not on the greatest form. They are getting points, but they're not on the greatest form in terms of scoring loads of goals. So, um, this is a game we definitely need to win. But, it's, yeah, it's not going to be easy at all. Yeah, and then now going on to the injury news then. So for Blackpool, they've got five players out. Firstly is Thomas Kaczynski with a knee injury. Um, secondly is Adam Wharton with an ankle injury. Thirdly, Clinton Moller with an ankle injury also. Fourthly, Daniel Ayala is out with just a little knock. And fifth, Sam Barnes with a knee injury. And then Luke will give you the Swans injury news. Oh yeah, for, uh, for Swans, it's just Stephen Ben who's our only injury at this moment in time. Yeah, and then going on to the key players then. So for Blackburn, I've highlighted these three. Number one, I'm going to go with Ben Burton and Diaz, um, you know, Chilean international. Um, you know, he's one of the best strikers in the league when he's on form. Um, secondly, likewise with Bradley Dack when he's on form, I'm going to go with him as well. And thirdly, I'm going to go with Liverpool um, youngster who's obviously on loan at Blackburn, uh, Tyler Morton. I think, you know, he's a good young player. He's, he's featured a few times for Liverpool um, last season. So, you know, he's definitely one to look out for. But would you add anyone else? Uh, yeah, um, I love the two players, one of them being John Buckley, um, still a very, very young player, I think he's at 22 or 23, and um, yeah, he's been good for Blackburn, especially over his last few seasons, I think last season he was very, very good for Blackburn, I'm surprised he didn't get a move away to any other club, but yeah, this season I don't think he's been at his best, but he has still been a quality player for them, um, I'll also go for the youngster Tyrese Dolan as well, you know, he's also been at Blackburn for a few years now, um, you know, he, he still not uh, gets, you know, goals and assists, now, he might not be as consistent, but he is still a phenomenal young player, nonetheless, so I'll add those two to this. Yeah, and then now going on to the Swans key players, then, so if there's any Blackburn fans watching this, I think these are the players you need to look out for. Number one, I'm going to go with Joel Pirro. Um, you know, he, he's, he's our top scorer this season. Um, secondly, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes, skipper. Uh, I think he's got the mo most line-breaking passes in Europe, which is just incredible. And thirdly, I'm actually going to go with Nathan Wood. I think he's probably been one of our more consistent performers this season, but would you add anyone else? Um, yeah, um, I, know, I know it's um, a very dodgy one to say, and he, he was only just good in the last game, but I'm going to go for Marty Sorinola. Um I thought he made a massive impact um, against Blackpool. I think, you know, single-handedly won us the game. Um, yeah, he got a great goal on his weaker foot in uh, a, a, volley, uh, a volley into the bottom um, right-hand corner. But, um, yeah, I'd have to go for him. I think he's been good. I think he definitely deserves to start against Blackburn. No doubt about that. I think he is starting to really improve uh, under Russell Martin. So, I'll we'll add him to that list also. Yeah, and then now the team lineup I'm going to go with then. So, uh, in goals, I'm going to go with Andy Fisher. Um, right wing back, I'm going to go with Matty Sorinola. Left wing back, Ryan Manning. Three centre backs, Ben Cabango, Harry Darling, Nathan Wood. Um, two holding midfielders, Matt Grimes and Jay Fulton. Uh, two attacking midfielders, I'm going to go with Ollie Cooper and Joel Perrault and then Morgan Whitaker up front, but what about you? Well, yeah, my team is going to be quite similar, so there's only one player I'm going to add to that team and that's probably going to be um, Incham to replace Morgan Whitaker. Um, the reason why I'm not starting Whitaker, I just don't think he's, you know, you know he, I don't think he should, he should be starting just yet. You know, he is a good player, we saw that when he was playing for Plymouth Argyle, but I think for us he's just not at that 
you know, he, he definitely needs a goal, no doubt about it, to try and get himself back into the team, you know, fully. But I think we need to keep Joel Pro up front for now, and I'm going to put in Chamster Whitaker. Yeah, and then um, finally on to the score prediction then. I say we need a win, but I don't think we're going to get it. I'm going to say Blackburn Rovers 1, Swansea City 1. I'm going to say Brer and Diaz and Ollie Cooper, but what about you? Um, I think I, I think I'm going to go for a 2 all draw. I think it will be a draw. Blackburn have had a lot of draws uh, in recent times. So, um, yeah, I think it will be quite um, high score. I think it will be end-to-end. -end. I think it will be quite an even game. We'll probably boss possession, as per usual. Blackburn, they'll be clinical and put their chances away. Somebody to try and, you know, react from their chances and from the way they play. So, I'm going for a 2 all draw. Uh, I think Perot will definitely score for us. I think Encham will get a goal as well. And uh, for Blackburn, I'll go for Ben Brown and Diaz. And I'll also go for... Uh, I think, yeah, I'll go for Tyrese Dolan as well. Yeah, um, obviously a massive thanks for watching this. We will be back tomorrow with a match day vlog. However, I won't be attending the game um, as I am going on a week's skiing holiday to Bulgaria. Um, so yeah, I will be missing this game and Stoke at home. But there will be a match day vlog as Luke will be obviously taking over vlogging duties for the next two games. So uh, yeah, you'll be seeing uh, Luke's face a lot more than mine. But obviously I will still be featuring on the vlogs for a score prediction. But um, yeah, obviously, as I said, a massive thanks for watching this and stay tuned for tomorrow. Yeah, cheers.